David Day, Vicksburg Daily News here with Warren County Sheriff Martin Pace. We've had a development in the homicide from the 1st of July. We have, and I'll just recap very briefly. About 2 a.m. on July the 1st, Vicksburg Warren 911 received a call dispatch deputies to 902 Blossom Lane, the Azalea Trace Apartments, of a call of shots fired. When officers arrived, they found three people had been shot. One uh, was shot in the head. Uh, the other two were shot uh, in the upper leg uh, that were non-life-threatening. Uh, deputies assisted paramedics with first aid. They were transported uh, to University of Mississippi Medical Center, and one of the individuals died of his wounds. Since then, we have made one arrest. Uh, we've arrested Albert Jones III, who is 17 years old. And I might just say, we're in justice court, which is an adult court, but under Mississippi state law, a 17-year-old who uses a firearm in a violent offense is automatically considered an adult and goes to an adult court. Uh, he's been charged with first-degree murder. He's also been charged with four counts of aggravated assault. Two of those aggravated assault counts are the individuals that were actually struck. The two other counts are individuals that were standing close by but were not actually hit, but they were still in close proximity. Therefore, there was the threat of serious injury or, or death. Uh, there's not really a lot of detail that I can add at this time. This is a very fluid, ongoing investigation. We still have uh, a lot of areas to cover, and I really don't want to uh, compromise any of that by going into any details other than what's been revealed in court today. Uh, Judge Randy Lewis uh, set bond at 500000 on the murder charge and 100000 each on the aggravated assault, giving a total of a $900,000 bond. Uh, Mr. Jones is back in the Warren County Jail at this time. Uh, without revealing too much, can we say whether the individuals knew each other prior to the incident? That's part of the investigation. That's, that's part of what's ongoing is what, if any, relationship existed prior to this incident. Sheriff Pace, thank you for all that you, for the Vicksburg Daily News, David Day. Bleaks, man, when niggas catching fire day, it's a risk living like this, so play it safe. When you get that money, gotta put that shit away. Cause in my city, niggas killing for a nine. Welcome to Bleaks.